Okay, this is the Leica TP1020. Um, this is the standby display. Um, it displays that you are in station one. And it is in station one. This is your clock, so this is the current time. Um, it is 11.57. If you ever want to change that, you can hit your clock button and you can change it accordingly. We'll keep it there to um, get to the minutes. Hit the over button, adjust it accordingly, and then when you're done, you just hit the clock button and it's set. In order to program your first program, uh, you'll come over here and you'll hit the program button and you'll come into programming mode. Um, this right here with the four little quadrants, that is how many uh, baskets you have. So that is a um, one basket. Uh, to increase that, which you um, wouldn't unless you have the, uh, the second basket uh, kit, um, you can add one, but um, you don't have the kit, so we're going to leave it in uh, one basket programming. Um, to get it to station one, um, it will start in station one, and then we're going to hit the over button, and the V is for vacuum. To um, activate the vacuum, you'll just press the plus, and you'll see the AC on. Um, uh, because we don't have the proper buckets to do vacuum on the first 10 stations, uh, we're going to leave it off. Um, the glass containers um, allow the, the vacuum, but these are um, aluminum, so we'll, we'll keep those off. Go over to um, the hour. We're going to program this for one hour, um, and then you can come back to... Um, the next station and programming it, program it accordingly. Uh, one hour, 30 minutes. Um, and you can keep going through this. Uh, station three, one hour, 30. Station four, 130. Station five, 130. Station six, just for the heck of it, let's go over here and change it to one, oops, 120. And then we'll come back. And 7, 130, 8, 139, 10. Now 11 is your paraffin, the start of your paraffin uh, bucket. So you can turn your vacuum on, um, which it is. Uh, 12 vacuum is on as well for an hour and 30. You can't go any more than that because that's how many stations you got. So um, after you're done, you can hit program. And it has just programmed uh, program one. Um, okay. Now to start that program, um, you come over here and you press start from the home screen. It will ask you what program you want to start. So you'll start um, program one. Um, if you want to, if you want to start it um, right away, you can actually hit start again, and it'll start the process right now. Um, if you want to delay the time, the start time, you hit the over arrow, and it will give you um, the cursor is flashing on. How many days delay do you want? Do you want it to start today? Um, zero is today, uh, one is tomorrow, it will start tomorrow, um, and that will start a day after tomorrow at two in the morning. It will start at two in the morning, the day after tomorrow. Um, so if you want to start tomorrow, we'll do one, and it'll start at two in the morning, um, and... If that is correct, you can press start, and it will lower into the first container because that is the first step of that program. So once it gets down, it will just hold in that formalin container until the program actually starts. And that is what you're going to see. You're going to see an H um, blinking. Um, 
um, until it actually starts tomorrow at 2. Um, this is your agitation button, so if you, if you don't want it to agitate, like it is doing right now, you can press that button once and it will stop agitation. Um, let's see, I'm going to stop this right now so we can show something else. Uh, if you want to stop it, you press stop twice, um, and you're back at the um, you're back at the main menu. If you hit program, and you want to program station one, and you want to find out how long that program actually takes, you can hit the clock button, and it'll tell you it's zero days, 17 hours, 32 minutes. That is the duration of that whole program. Uh, so you can decide on whether or not um, it's going to finish based off the start time. So let's go back. Um, and we're going to start program one again. But we're going to delay it uh, till tomorrow at 2 o'clock in the morning. And then we'll hit start. And then if you come over here, if you want to verify that it's going to finish on time for when you want to start working, you can hit the clock button once, and that'll tell you when it starts, but if you hit it again, it'll tell you when it's gonna end. So it's gonna end tomorrow, and it's going to end at, let's see, 19, whatever that equates to, um, seven o'clock, 7.30 at night. Um, and so if that's wrong, you can go back and, and uh, reprogram it. So I'm gonna stop this again. Um, I'm going to, in the main menu, you have some manual functions that you can actually do. Um, you can control this completely manually if you want. So I'm going to turn off the uh, agitation and I'm going to lift the canopy up. So I'm going to press that button right here and this is going to lift up. And then you can rotate it. Okay, and then you can put it back down in station two. And you can even turn agitation on. So it'll agitate as it's in station two if you want it to. And then you can also, um, uh, you can also, also initiate um, uh, the vacuum function as well so it it uh, it does um, it does all the features you know manually if, if if you want it to here's your vacuum function um, but like I said we're we're in station 2 we should only pull vacuum in station 11 and 12 so um, I think that covers it oh, the, the the last thing is if you want to lock if you want to lock the machine and you don't want anybody to change any of the of the values, you can come up here and press and hold the lock button. Um, for a few seconds and it will say locked. The only thing that that you'll be able to do is unlock it by pressing and holding this again. And now it's ready to uh, ready to rock again. So um, that's about it.